the cord button. Dollar, dollar. In the case of a Zav who was lying upon five benches or upon five money, money belts, if he lies along their length, they are all tummy. However, if he lies across their width, they are to all tahor. If he slept and there is a doubt whether he may have turned around on them, they are all tame. If the Zab was lying upon six chairs, with his two arms resting upon two of them, his two legs resting upon two of them, his head upon one and his body one, only this one that is beneath his body is tame. If the Zab was standing on two chairs, Rabbi Shimon says if they are distant from one, uh, from one from the other, they are tahor. In a place where ten shawl, in a in a case where ten shawls were placed on one on top of another, and a zav slept upon the top one, they are all tummy. In a case where a zav was on one pan of a scale, and the couch or seat was on the opposite side, if the zav weighed down his side, they are tahor. If they weigh down their side, if, if but if they weigh down their side, they are tummy. Reb Shimon says in the case of a single couch or seat, he is tummy. It is tummy, but in the case of many, they are tahor, because no one couch or seat supports a majority of his body. If a zav is in one pan of a scale and food and beverages are on the other pan of the scale, they are tummy. But with regard to a corpse, everything is tahor except for a person. This is a stringency that applies to a zav over a corpse, and this is a stringency that applies to a corpse over a zav. A zav creates a coat, a couch and seat beneath him with the ability to contaminate a man to contaminate his clothing and on top of him the Zav creates a madaf with the ability to contaminate food and beverages whereas a corpse does not have the power to contaminate in these ways this is a stringency that applies to a corpse that a corpse contaminates in an all hell and contaminates others with a tumor that lasts for seven days whereas a Zav does not have the power to contaminate in these ways okay yeah. um all right, so we just spoke of, uh, in the previous mission about if um, part of the Zav's weight is is placed onto, um, onto different things. So like, what's actually like a really instructive mission is the case where uh, you've got planks and the, uh, so there are a whole bunch of, of loose planks that the Zav, well, I mean, planks would, would not be Kabul Tuma, but um, uh, there was uh, there it, it was something that was macabre with benches so like a whole bunch of chairs and so a chair would be so if the chairs were placed if if the bench was placed along the benches were placed along the length of the of the Zav's body while he was sleeping so he might have turned onto uh, while it, during his sleep and then he, then he, then each one would have held it but if if the if the benches are holding him horizontally then there's no one bench that's holding all of his weight or even the majority of his weight Right. And therefore, and therefore, all the benches would become tower, would would remain tower. Okay, um. So we're going to see, uh, now something similar over here. Zayin haya yoshev al gabe hamita. So, um, he's sitting. Uh, oh, sorry, beg your pardon. This is a, it's a, it's a different subject matter. I'm thinking of something else that we prepared. Um. I must have missed something. Okay, never mind. Um, anyway, <laughs> we'll get that introduction. Um, we're, we're just going to talk about here yeah, the um, the the method of transmission. So he's sitting on top of a bed. Oh, no, I am. I am. I'm still getting confused. Never mind. Okay, so now there are four, clo four cloaks, one under each leg of the bed. Okay? And all of them, Become tameim. Because the bed rests on four legs, and if you had three legs, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a, a functional bed. So therefore, each le each leg is doing something functional. Each leg is essential, and the cloth underneath it therefore is bearing his weight in an essential way. So therefore, each cloth will itself become a midras. Okay. Uh, okay, Rabbi Shimon Matayr. But again, Rabbi Shimon is. If you've been following his uh, his uh, shita, he is holding that it's not it's not tame unless it's holding the majority of his weight. Okay, and since yeah, you've got each one's holding a quarter of his weight to, or roughly. Um, therefore, it's uh, he says Rabbi Shimon, it's still tahor, but uh, this is not the halacha. Now he's riding on, on an animal. So once again, the now it's under. You've got four four cloths underneath four four legs of the animal. Now an animal is distinct from a bed because if an animal lifts up one leg, then it can still balance. Right, it's how it walks. 
So it's not a so it's not like a bed in that respect. And, and now you see that the difference is that these cloths are all tahor. Because you've got the combination of Shahi, Yukulala, Mod Al Shalosh, because any animal can lift up one leg and uh, and balance on and balance on three legs. And they and they and the combination between that each leg not being essential and the fact that no one leg is holding the majority of his weight uh, means that all all of these cloths are um are tahor. Now, different case, hai sa talis achas al tachas shte yadayim. Okay, if there was one cloak and and the animal was standing with its two forelegs on the on on both on that one cloth, or tachas shte raglayim. Or conversely, if the two if if it was the two hind legs that were standing on this cloth and the zav is riding on top of the animal, yad tachas yad varegel or if it's um in um in uh forward and backward right and then it, right. so the, right. the, both the right legs are both left legs okay in this case it's tame right why because you because your animal um for, first of all the animal can't take uh you, the the two two legs are definitely essential because the animal cannot walk it, and cannot maintain its balance just balancing on two legs yeah. okay and 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 in addition to this, even Rabbi Shimon's not gonna gonna argue, because uh, because the majority of its weight is going to be borne on those two legs at some point. Okay. Now Rabbi Yossi comes in with a with a disagreement, and he says he says Rabbi Yossi says hasus mitami beraglav. It's it's actually different depending on the animal. A horse is mitami by its back legs. Uh, because that's that's where the majority of a, of a horse's weight goes, and you can see that a horse will rear itself up sometimes right. on, its, on its back legs. It's uh, those are the ones that are carrying the, the, that are the strongest, and therefore Rabbi Yossi has a humra over here that if even one of the of the horse's back legs is is standing on a cloth, he will also be matame there. A chamor biyadav, and the donkey conversely carries its weight on its front legs. And therefore, if even one shemeshenes hasos al raglav or meshenes hachamor al al diadav, so that even if one leg was standing on a cloth, it would also it would also be tame. Uh, that's where he disagrees with the chachamim, and the halacha does not follow Rabbi Yossi here. Yashav al koras beis abad. Now the zav comes and sits on the beam of the olive press. Kelim shav ekel tmein. So any kalim that are in the uh, in the pressing part, where he's effectually effectively pushing his weight down through the beam, will also become tamei midras. Al hamachbesh shel koves if he's sitting on the um, on the pressing. Uh, so you have like a, a wooden a wooden pressing thing. So before you have a steam press, now you right. you have a wooden press that they would screw down to uh, to press clothes nice and neat. Okay, kalim shetach tav tahorin. Okay, because the clothes inside there are, um, he's sitting, the, the Zav is sitting on the edge of the press, and the clothing that's inside the press is not uh, is not actually directly taking his weight. I'm not sure, uh, I, I might not have a good clear picture of what the clothes press looks like, um, because to me it would seem like uh, the, the, the Kalim, the clothes that are inside the press are are also taking a part in in holding up his weight. So I probably would have ruled this tummy if I hadn't known this Mishnah. If you had just come to me and said, "What do you think of this?" Um, because, but uh, Takati explains that the the zav is not uh, is not putting his weight on them because he is sitting on the edge, and the clothes are in the middle. Okay, right. I'll, I'll accept that. I will accept that as it's stated uh, without really understanding how this clothing press looked. Um, but the, but Rabbi Nehemia is matame. Oh, excuse me. Okay. okay. Why does he say that? Because um, because in his opinion, even if you're sitting on the edge, uh, you're putting your weight on the on the kalim. Okay. And as I said, that's what I would have said if I'd know if I hadn't known better. But anyway, that's not the halacha. Perik hey Mishnah Aleph, and the Gerbazav. Okay, now this is this is talking about transmission of the tuna. If somebody touches a zav or she zav no gabo, may sit is a zav or she zav may sit bo. Okay, so either by touching the zav or by moving the zav or the zav moving him. Mm. Okay. This is not 
of the uh, of placing of weight. This is just is by touching and and, and moving. Okay. Matame ochlim a mashkim or clay shetef bemaga avalo bemasa. So in this um so in this case over here, this is where they're still in contact. Okay, where they are still in contact, the person will be matame both food and drink. Okay, that's easy because even if you're a rishon, you're matame food and drink, but also clay shetef. But also kalim that become tame from uh, that, that can that can be uh, can be purified in in a mikvah, i.e., not clay clay cheres, uh, by touching them. Uh, remember, clay cheres is not tame from touching; it's tame from airspace. Right. Of a lobe masa, but not by carrying. So just because this the, the second person is holding something but not touching it, he will not uh, he will not make a tame. The, the, zav, the zavs the zavs contact does not is not that electric that it turns him into an effective zav as well. Okay. Rabbi Yeshua. So here's your general rule, says Rabbi Yeshua. Call him a tame begadim b'shas mago. Anything, uh, anyone who is matame clothing at the time that he touches matame ochlim mashkim liyos tachila. Then he will he will turn food and drinks into a rishon by yadayim liyos shnios, and his hands will remain uh, shnios. And and he'll he'll if he sorry if he touches somebody else's hands, these hands will become shnios. The einu matame lo adam velo klei cheres. He cannot transmit his tumor to another person because he's a rishon, and not klei cheres either because a klei cheres also only takes up to um. Uh, up to a Rishon, up to Rishon Neville, so it, 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 he can't make it into a Shani. After he is separated from the thing that is that is being matame him, matame mashkin lios tachila. Then he only makes food and drinks into um, into a Rishon. Um, and he's no longer matame. The clothing. Um, uh, what what changed between these two? But he but now he's also not uh, matame clothing. But he was matame clothing while he was in contact with the. He was matame while he was in contact with the zav. He oh hang on how can he. Sorry, this doesn't. This math doesn't make sense here. Um, right, Mashkim, of course, he's going to make into a Rishon and from the Gezer of Chachamim. Um, so he only becomes... Uh, ah, yes, right. Right, of course, he he because now now that he's separated from the when he was in contact with the tuma, he was effectively electrically becoming a um an other tuma, but only wow. to a certain extent, but not 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 to the extent of transmitting by uh by carrying um, okay, but now but once he has been separated from the tuma, he is now a rishon, and therefore he transmits exactly as we've always learned about a rishon to, can make things into a shani, except for liquids, which by gazeres chachamim becomes a rishon. Okay. These are not so these are not so simple. Too. Mm -hmm. It's not okay. Um Old Klal Acher Amru. So there's another Klal that uh, that uh, that they said, Kol Anisa Al Gav Hazav. Anything that the Zav is carrying is Tame. Is Tame. Okay. It, it but it it becomes Tame. By one degree down, v'chol hashir zav nisa alav tahor, and anything that the uh, that the zav is is carried on is tahor chutz min haroi lemishkav lemoshav adam, except for something uh, it, it will, it will, that that is actually a, a couch, something that is that is ra'ay for for mishkav moshav, and a person. Okay, but now if you didn't confused by that opening statement, the Mishnah is going to dive into examples. Kate said. Etzba or shell zav, so tachas anidbach. So there was a zav whose hand is underneath a rock, and and somebody sat on it. Okay, v'atar milamalan. So the zav cries out, "Ow, that hurts!" Okay, because somebody's sitting on top of it. And meanwhile, the tower person gets up and says, "Oh, but you're a zav, aren't you?" Okay, matame shnei meposel echad. So while they're in contact, 
the, while they're in contact, the the, the 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 tower person is sitting on top of the rock, even though he's not in contact with the rub, but with the zav, but the zav is supporting his weight. So now he, he it's electric. He is now effectively a rish, an avatoma. So he's matame shnaim. He, he he can be matame food to a first and to a second degree, which means that the, the, the first one will touch something else to become a second. Or posel echad, and then and then it will be posel truma to 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 the third degree. Perish as soon as he has separated, he got up from the rock. He now is a rishon matame echad posel echad. So he can only be matame asheni, and posel is for for shlishi for uh, for. Mm-hmm. Hatame milamat, and what if they if their positions are reversed? But tower milamat, so the tower person is underneath. Again, while they're in contact, matame shnaim el posel echad, exactly the same. Perish is separated matame echad el posel echad, so it's exactly the same whether the tower is on top or the or on the bottom in this in in this case. Okay, now that's talking about people. What about ochlin umashkin? If you have food and drink, hamishka vhamoshav vhamadav. Okay. What about or uh, or things that are built to take weight, um, or, or something that that's that, that's just a, uh, can um, uh, shelf it a madaf in this case is any kind of clee that can, um, but it doesn't actually. I don't know why they mentioned. Uh, oh, 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 so they they called in they called here a madaf. Um, as, as literally as a shelf, normally Madaf is talking about a, a tumor drabanan, a light a, a light level of tumor. Okay, so here we 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 switched we switched and we're no longer talking about a taho person. We're talking about a taho uh, bench or taho food. Okay, so if the if these things if the mishkav and moshav and Madaf are on top, okay, and the zav is supporting their weight through something else like a rock. Metam in shnayim while they're in contact, they metame two or poslin echad, just like with a person. They they while they're in contact, they act as an avatoma. Perishu once they separate, metam in echad or poslin echad, then they become like a rishon, just like the person. A mishka va moshav milamatan. Now what happens if you have a bench or any kind of anything that's susceptible to to mishka tuma? If they're at the bottom and the zav is at the top, and remember he's he's putting his weight on them even though he's not touching them. Mm-hmm. They become um, 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 a, a a mishkav, okay. They become tami mishkav. But tami in shnayim and poslin echad perishim. Tami in shnayim and poslin echad. It doesn't matter whether they're whether he's in contact or not. Once he has made them into a a mishkav, they remain an avhatuma, even when he's once he's separated. And that's the big the big chumra of uh, of the zav. Of of is that he transmits his tumor to something that he can that he puts his weight on and it stays there even when he leaves. Okay, that's that's not that sounds it, 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 the whole Mishnah sounds complicated, but it's actually very simple because it's just telling you this is what a, what a zav does with his weight. The mishkav is is permanent until it goes to mikvah, of course. However, when it comes to let's say something that is not normally that is not susceptible to to midras tumor, so any kind of food and drink, and um, or any other kind of kli that is not susceptible to to midras tumor, so like let's say for example a cup, a cup is not meant for putting weight on. The zab put his weight on the cup. Uh, okay, they they remain completely tahor as long as he didn't touch them. Because they're not built for taking weight, that's not how that's not how the tumor is transmitted. Okay, oh. they're not quite simple. Think, think it through, but it's, it's, your basic rule is that uh, is that the um, while it, while something is in contact with the zav, he's supporting its weight, or um, then it then while they're in contact, they're 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 an avatuma. As soon as contact is broken. Rishon. Same goes for if they're supporting his weight, a person is supporting his weight. While he's in contact, he's an Av. While he, as soon as he separates, he's a Rishon. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but, but when it comes to the actual bench, the bench that supports his weight, that remains a, a Mishkav. Okay, we've got very little time to do the rest. Unfortunately, these were quite complicated. Okay, let's go back to Machshirin. Okay. Um... Okay, Dalit. 
There are seven beverages, dew, water, wine, olive, olive oil, blood, milk, and bee honey. The wasp honey is the Tahoe and permitted for consum consumption. There are five sub subcategories of water that which issue, which is that issues which issues from the eye, from the ear, from the nose, from the mouth, liquid excre excrement, whether loose or, or stool or urine, intentionally or unintentionally. These are the sub subcategories of blood, blood of slaughter, of a kosher designate domesticated animal, of a non-domesticated animal, and of a fowl, and blood of bloodletting for drinking. Whey is considered like milk, and olive water is considered like oil, since the olive water cannot merge without oil. They are the words of Reb Shimon. Reb Meir says, even though there is no oil with it, the blood of a sheriff is like meat, and it conveys tumor, but does not render food susceptible to tumor, and then we have nothing similar to it. The, fo that's, uh, the following convey tumor and affect extra. The disease discharge of a resolve, the saliva, the semen, is urine, and a quarter like a blood from a corpse and blood of a nida. Reb Eliezer says semen does not affect hexure. Reb Eliezer and Zari says blood of the nida does not affect hexure. And Shimon says blood of a corpse does not affect hexure. And it falls on a cord, and he should scrape it off, and the ground is tall. Okay. All right. And time for one more, or? Oh, yeah, I got time for nida. Okay. Okay, base, above base. Uh, similar to this, every earthenware vessel, uh, earthenware vessel that lets in liquid lets out liquid, but there can be no an earthenware vessel that lets out liquid but does not let in liquid. Every limb that has a fingernail has a bone, but there can be a limb that has a bone but does not have a fingernail. Every object that contracts treading tumor contracts dwarf tumor, but there are, uh, they, they, um, if they it can be an object that contracts tumor, corpse tumor, but does not contract treading tumor. Everyone who is eligible to judge capital cases is eligible to judge monetary cases, but there can be someone who is eligible to judge monetary cases but not eligible to judge capital cases. Everyone who is fit to, to testify, but there can be someone who is fit to testify but not be fit to judge. Okay, okay. that's it. We and we can we can also do para because those are nice and short. Uh, you do para? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Dalad. Regarding a tube that one cuts for cathos purposes, what Elias says he may immerse it immediately. If Yeshua says he must render the tube tummy and only then immerse it. All are qualified to consecrate me cathos except for a deaf mute, a mentally deranged person, and a minor. Rabbi Yehuda moves a minor qualified, but disqualifies a woman and an undressing. We may consider to make cathos in all types of vessels, but even in dug vessels, stone vessels, and clay vessels, but we may consecrate make cathos in a boat. We cannot consecrate Mekatos in the walls of a vessel, nor in the bottom of a machetz, mm -hmm. nor in the cover of a barrel, nor on the palm of one's hand, because we cannot draw water from Mekatos, nor concentrate Mekatos, nor sprinkle Mekatos, even with except with a vessel. Nothing with a sealed over cover protects the contents from tumor beside vessels, and nothing is protected from being rend uh, rendered tame in an earthenware vessel been, uh, beside vessels. A potter's lump of clay is qualified, but also disqualifies it. Um, regarding a chicken egg, my uh, and root of root disqualified and qualified and this clay to disqualify. Regarding a trough carved in a yeah. rock, we can touch the water. We're done. We're done. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna done run. Finish. Okay. Have a great okay. day. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye.